Hey guys, so in this video we're going to focus on using Illustrator to draw vector graphics and have them on the web. The first part is going to be focusing on how do we use Illustrator in order to trace an image with the pen tool. Um, it's the kind of thing that we do if, like me, you can't draw with your free hand and you need to like have a guide in order to achieve a decent drawing. Um, then we'll see how we can use anchors to modify the existing curves that um, Illustrator gives us. Then we'll see how we can export it as an um, SVG format and how then this SVG format allows us to interact on the web with JavaScript. So let's get started. We open up Illustrator and I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to click on the web pre uh, preset and I'm going to just choose the regular web preset. 1280 pixels, 1024, orientation, um, landscape, click create. Once we have those, we can um, add an image. And that's the image we're going to trace. So I'm going to open up the Jade Belt. It's a bridge in uh, Beijing. And we're going to drag and drop it here. Cool. Now we have our bridge in the middle. So the point is going to be to be able to, write, to um, draw on top of it in order to follow the lines of the bridge and then remove the image and we'll have a sketch. So let's start by having a layer. On the right hand side we have our layer panel and at the bottom we have our create new layer. And the, the blue layer, the red layer is the one on which we're going to draw. There are th three very important tools in Illustrator. Um, there are these two guys, the selection tool as usual to move things around, the direct selection tool, we'll see um, how it behaves with uh, the third tool, which is the pen tool. The pen tool is essentially the one that allows you to draw. So let's have an example. We use the pen tool to draw from here to there to there. And we kind of follow the outline of the bridge. All right. Um, I don't particularly like the fact that it is um, filled. I just want to have like an outline for now. So I'm going to press escape and that finishes my first curve. I'm going to double click on the image. Um, actually, no, not double click. I'm going to click on this guy here where it says none with the red bar. And now I only have the outline. So I'm going to have a black outline and if I hide the layer below, start to see how this bridge starts to take shape. So let's see how we can use the second tool. Um, if we have the pen tool, the very interesting thing in uh, Photoshop is that now we can sort of like add or remove more um, items. So if I want to add a new point, first thing I need to do is click on the path. And select it. Then go to the pen tool again and here I can add new points on the path. Why do we want to add new points? We want to add new points because then we can do something like this. If you have your pen tool and then you press the option or alt key it turns into this sort of like um, empty triangle and that allows us to create anchors. And those anchors turn our straight lines into curves. I'm going to remove this so we can see it a little bit better. So if I'm here, I can add an anchor like this. And then here is a little hard still. Let's put it like this. And I'm going to select the normal one, select out. And you see how it turns into a curve, right? This guy here is still a little hard. So I'm going to go back, click select the pen tool, press option, and turn it into 
a curve as well. I don't really like the fact that this is, there's a bump here. So what I can do is I can select again, press P for the pen tool, and then if I click on a button on, a, on one of those anchors, if there's a little minus sign, and that's going to remove the, the point. So again here, I click on it, I remove the point, and we, hard, we have a smoother curve. Let's put the image back and do the inside of the, of the bridge. I select the pen tool again, and then I'm going to go here, 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 here. And now that we know how to make curves, we can be a lot more rough in our drawing. To finish the drawing, I press Escape. I'm going to close it again, and then again, press Alt or Option, and turn this into a curve. This, yeah. They're not completely aligned, right? Like this guy here is not super satisfying. So I can click on it um, and then use the direct selection tool in order to move. So because I'm not happy with the way this guy is over there, I can click this particular um, with the direct selection tool with the white arrow. I can click on it, and then I can move it individually. I'm going to move it just like a little there. Oops. A little closer. Yep. OK. And this guy needs to go a little down. This guy can go here. And then we can change with the pen tool. We can change the anchor again. Um, now it starts to match. the. Uh, kind of starts to match the bridge. Not so much. <laughs> Go back to the direct selection by pressing A. Select this one guy. Move it a little bit. Move it there. And now we start to have a slightly nicer outline. Okay. Um, this one here is still missing, so I go back to A, select it, and I'm going to move it here. Okay. And this guy is going to go there. And this is the one who should be moved. Okay. Cool. And pen tool again, and then. And maybe we need a new one here, actually. So let's move this guy. Oops. Add one. Move it. It looks a little bit more round. And move this guy as well here. This guy needs to be there. And then... I'm going to change this. Oops. New one there, move it a little more. This one is a little bit too far out, I think. Yep, let's move it there. Okay. So we're slowly getting the outline of our bridge. Um, let's see this this one here. I'm not too satisfied. I'm going to move it a little bit more, a bit like this. Oops. Click once to select, and then a second time to move it. And this one can also go a little bit higher. And finally, we're going to make it a little bit smoother. OK. So now I have a rough outline of my bridge. I'm not going to go through the pain of um, having you guys watch me outline the whole thing. 
um, all I'm going to do is that um, there's an inside zone here, right? I would like the inside zone to be clickable on my website so that something gets triggered. So what we're going to do first is that we're going to create um, a section right there on another layer. So we're going to add a new layer, click on plus, um, and we're going to start drawing with our pen again. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And this time we're going to draw a closed shape. So what this looks like is this. One, two, three. Four, five. I don't know why I'm counting. It really doesn't matter how many um, of those you have. And back here and here. Okay, now it's closed. Um, what we can do um, is make sure that it's closed by clicking OK and seeing, okay, this is our shape. It looks good enough. Cool. Let's clean it up a little bit. Um, maybe actually we add one guy here. We move it there. Um, and you get the idea, right? Um, let's make this, which color? Orange. Yellow, yellow, orange, yellow, orange. Yellow, orange should be a color. Okay, close enough. Yellow, orange. Okay, again, this is not a demonstration of my artistic skills. This is a demonstration of how do we create SVG files. I save it, and the first thing is that it tells me it's an AI file. So AI file are kind of like PSD files. They're your working files for Illustrator. So I'm going to call it Jade Belt Bridge.ai. Okay, this is not the file I want. This is just the file that I'm working on, um, and that we'll go back to if we need to make any changes. For now, I'm going to remove the last layer so it's not uh, visible, and I'm going to give names to those. So I'm going to say this one is called Outline, and this one is called Inside. Sweet. And then I'm going to export it as an SVG. I do export as and SVG at the bottom. I'm going to click export. And then here I have this thing called show code. Show code actually shows me what the HTML is. Because as you guys see, like, you're familiar with this, right? Like, this is a tag, this is a tag, there's a style tag here, there's like some CSS going on, dot CLS, fill none, blah blah, stroke miter, dot, and then blah blah blah, GID. Hmm. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do command uh, C to copy, and I'm going to open up a new file, Save it as index.html. And I'm going to paste this right there, the code that it was just given to me. And then I'm going to save it. And I'm going to open it in our browser. This is my index.html. I open it. And then bam, we have our drawing. Crazy. The cool thing about SVGs, as we talked about during the lecture, is that it can resize super well. No issues whatsoever. The second cool thing is that because these are not actually pixel elements, they're HTML elements, they allow us to be interactive. And particularly, there's a relationship between the names that I gave here, inside an, out, uh, an outline. Oh, let me save this, actually. Inside an outline which we find here, GID outline. And we have another one, GID inside. So at this point, I'm sure that you guys know what's going to happen, right? We're going to create 
script.js. We're going to include our script.js in here. Script src equals script.js. Remove all these spaces. And then in the script, actually, no, you know what? Let's put it there because otherwise it's going to create unnecessary troubles. And in script.js, I'm going to do let inside of bridge equals document dot get element by id inside and then i'm going to say inside of bridge if i want to check if someone's clicking on the inside i'm going to do add event listener click and then our function is going to be hmm what are we going to do just display some text right so let's have another div here oh, id equals um, text box whenever we click we're going to say document dot get element by id text box dot inner text equals we've clicked on the inside Jade belt bridge. Cool. Hopefully it should work on the first try. Let's see. Famous last words. I'm gonna refresh. And I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna click. And it worked. And that's essentially all you need to know for JavaScript and Illustrator. Illustrator is exclusively about the pen tool. I mean you can do other things. But if you want to do vector graphics, it's about spending as much time as possible with the pen tool and then going very, very minutely into all these different little dots or all these different little anchors and then making them look as nice as possible and as smooth as possible. Is it a matter of like adding more uh, anchors? Is it a matter of adding less of these? Um, it's, as most things with graphic design, trial and error. and so on and so forth. Okay, so move them around, change the curves, and then slowly it becomes nicer and nicer. It's a matter of like knowing when to add points, knowing when to move them, and knowing when to change the curves. All right, and then once you have those, you know that each of the layers, each of these guys, these names are going to appear as IDs inside your JavaScript code, inside your HTML code, such as here, id equals outline. And then once you have those, easy. You get the element by id, you write an event listener, and your drawing becomes interactive. Then in the next demo, we're going to look at how do we actually get an SVG file, how we load it, and how we interact with it using a library.